So let's take a look at the equation x plus 2x plus 5 equals x plus 19. We're calling this an equation. Notice that the word equation has the word equal right here in the front of it. So whenever we see an equation, we know that someone has already set this up so that both sides are balanced. So you can think of the balance beam and the scales, and you know that this side and this side are both equal. It's already been balanced. That's why it's called an equation. The point of an equation is to isolate or get on one side by itself the variable. You notice that there's a number of x's in this equation. All of these x's represent the same amount, which is the variable because we don't know how much it is this time. It can vary from equation to equation. So we're going to try to solve for x. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our equation on our hands-on equation board using pawns and dice. So let's take a look here. We have x, which we're putting one pawn, plus 2x, so we're putting two more pawns, plus 5, so we're putting our cube, is equal to x plus 19. Now notice we don't have 19 on the cubes, so we can take any combination we want that equals 19. So we're going to put a 10, and we're going to put a 9. Okay, so 10 plus 9 is equal to 19, so we have these two cubes here representing 19. So we're set up x plus 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 19. Okay, so far? So our first step in trying to see if we can get the variable on one side is to look and see if we have anything on each side that is the same. So let's take a look. You start with the variable. Here's an x here, here's an x, here's an x, and here's an x. Well, what can we do? We certainly can't get rid of all three of these because they don't have, all three of them don't have matches, but we could get rid of this one and this one. Remember, we want to pick them up at the same time so that we're going to slide these two off at exactly the same time. So let's do that now, because if, if it were an actual scale, if I took this guy off and I took this guy off, it would still balance, right? Because I'm taking the same thing off of both sides. So let's slide those two off now and see what we're left with. Okay, so you'll notice that on this side now, I just have two pawns because I took one away, and I took the other pawn away on this side, so I don't have any pawns. So I'm done with my pawns. There's no way I can do anything else because there's none on this side, right? So there's, so I'm, I'm finished manipulating my pawns, okay? So now I'm going to have to deal with my numbers. I've got a 5 on this side, and I've got a 19 on this side. So which one is less? Okay, of course it's going to be my 5 here, so that means if I get rid of the 5 on this side, then I can subtract the 5 from the 19 on this side, and I'm going to be left with 14. Okay, so this 5 is leaving. I'm taking the 5 away because whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side as well. So if I'm taking 5 over here, I'm subtracting 5 from the 19, which is giving me 14. So let's take a look at our new board now. Okay, so now I'm left with two pawns, right? Two pawns is equal to 14. Now it doesn't matter if you chose to use different numbers for your 14. Okay, this is sort of like 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. We're only doing this because we don't have every number on the blocks. If we had a 14, we could put it. But So we're really saying 2x is equal to 14. 
Okay, so if 2x is 14, then we have another mental step. We're having to divide that 14 by 2 to figure out if 2x is 14, then what would 1x be? And let's take a look and see what we get now. So that puts us now that x is equal to 7. x is equal to 7. Now, let's see if it works. So we found our answer is 7. So let's go back and put our original setup, and every time we see a pawn, then let's put a 7 and see if it works. Every time we see a pawn, we're going to substitute the pawn with a 7 because we're saying 7 is the answer. 7 is the variable. It's the same thing as x. We solved for it. So if we have 7, we can balance this thing out. Let's see if it works. So we're going to go back to our original equation, set up our board again, and plug in 7 every time we see the equation. So let's try that and see if we got the right answer. All right, let's take a look at our pawns. So we're going to say this is 7 plus 7 would give us 14 plus 7 would give us 21, plus 5 would give us 26. So we've got 26 on this side if we plug in our variable. Now let's plug in our variable to the other side and see if it works. 7, right, we got our 7 again, 7 plus 10 is equal to 17 plus 9 is equal to, guess how much? 17 plus 9 is going to give us our 26. 26 is equal to 26. That means it checks. Now, we could um, actually do this another way. We could do it by drawing. So let's take a look at that. Let's try doing this by drawing instead of the balance board and see how we solve it. Okay, so let's start again with our equation, x plus 2x plus 5 is equal to x plus 19. All right, so we're going to say x, we're going to color in our triangle because that's how we represent our variables is a colored in triangle. So we're going to say x plus, we got 2x, so we got to make two of them, right? So we're going to do this, Do 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 do. color them in plus 5 is equal to x plus 19. Now our next step is we're going to take a look and see if there's anything we can get rid of. And actually I did not present this part yet, but what you do when you're doing this by a drawing, we see that we can get rid of this. We're going to make an arrow. It's getting out of there. And we're going to make an arrow on this one because whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So we're getting rid of this guy here, so we're making an arrow. So we're making an arrow over here. So if those two triangles have gone bye-bye, then we've got to take, what do we have left? So we're going to draw it again, right underneath it, so we're keeping track of our work. So we've eliminated the first triangle, so we're not drawing that guy. So we're saying two triangles plus 5 is equal to, we already got rid of this one because it has the arrow, so it's equal to 19. Well. I can't get rid of any triangles because I only have triangles on one side, so I'm going to get rid of this 5. Well, how do I get rid of it? Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. So if I'm getting rid of the 5 over here, what does the 19 become? becomes 14. What did I have left over there that I didn't get rid of yet? Those two triangles. So this is actually how you're kind of working out an equation, step by step. Every time you eliminate something, you write the new step without it. So 2x's are equal to 14, so that means 1x is equal to 7. Okay? There was a lot there, but take a look at that, give it some thought, and see how you do. Good luck.